Hey Jaguars, I'm Mark Wiener. And I'm Paula Janos, and the recap starts... Wait for it... Now! now. So what's with all the pink all around school? I mean, it's even all over the news. I mean, even the NFL players are wearing pink gear. Well, yeah, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Our very own Jaguar volleyball team fundraised to help stop breast cancer. Check it out. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and in order to support it, the Lady Jags volleyball team organized a dig pink game against the Cooper City High School. At the game on October 18th, raffle tickets were sold, and donations were made to breast cancer research. So we're doing this um, fundraiser for breast cancer research and we're selling raffle tickets, we sold bracelets and t-shirts and this whole game is for um, breast cancer research. Dig pink. <laughs> In the past week, everyone wore pink to school and both teams wore dig pink shirts to warm up. The goal was to raise $1,000 and the team reached their goal with an extra $500. The girls' team has been selling breast cancer bracelets with sayings such as strength, hope, faith, and survivor. Coral Glades High did an excellent job raising money for breast cancer research. Thanks for all your support, Lady Jags. From WJAG, I'm Stephanie Navego. Hey, Mark. I just had a thought. Yes, Paula. I was wondering what it would actually be like to be the teacher and not the students. I call the shots. That would be pretty interesting. Ha ha. Very funny, Mark but I think it would be cool. Well, you don't have to wonder anymore. You can just watch it. Yoni Muller did what you've been dreaming to do and took over some classes. Check it out. Kids, my name is Mr. Muller. I am your student teacher. This is, what class is this? American government. This is comparative government. We compare governments. So, two of the countries we're gonna discuss in class are Russia and the United Kingdom. Again. Both of them are African countries. What? They're both African countries. No, Europeans. I'm the teacher here, Mr. Lonzo. They are both African countries. Um, everyone go ahead and take out your books, please. And open up. <laughs> I hate you. You guys don't even know me! Death of a salesman. It's about a salesman. He doesn't die, actually. You wouldn't, you wouldn't expect that. The guy lives. Having said that, it's a book, okay? It was written by um, Shakespeare, I believe, in 1952. And it catalogs bears. It's a nature story. So, I'm going to go ahead, flip to page 113, and let's start. I am teaching you, you are not teaching me! Paradox. That's what happens when you see two ducks together. It's called a paradox. Oxymoron, it's when you have a fleet of oxen. The dumbest one in the crowd is usually the oxymoron. And it's tribal tradition to pelt him with stones. Respite, which I believe has to do with spitting on someone again. I'm not sure. I think it comes, yes, Michelle. I think it helps the students to understand the definition more when they have a visual for it. So could you please pick one of those words <laughs> like... That would, that would be the first one. Now if you did that again, come back here, student, please. <laughs> he just respited on me. I wrote a poem. It goes, In my dream, my teacher makes a scary noise with my dad. I think, I think it's a haiku or a diamante, I'm not sure. It goes like this. Someone, please wonton my brother very softly. The author is Chinese. <laughs> but he also keeps kosher, so wonton soup out of the question for him. So now, what do we have? Internal struggle. Uh, I 
hate him too. Mood. I'm in a bad mood because you guys threw stuff at me. <laughs> Russians speak like this. Welcome to Soviet Russia. We take your money. British people speak a little bit like this. That's how British people oh, oh speak. Completely necessary roughness on the shine bomb. A plus. Uh, what? <laughs> it's like 1976 again. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. Mark, what are you humming about? We should be doing intros right now. Yeah, I was just thinking about the f Pokemon tournament we just had. They're lucky I wasn't playing. I would have Pikachu'd and Charizarded them right out of the competition. Mm-hmm. Whatever you say, Mark. Let's leave it up to the actual competitors. Check out our school's very first Pokemon tournament. And Mark, take some notes. Okay, Paula. Whatever you say. The new school year has bought us more than just schedule changes. It bought us a brand new club, the UNC, or Ultimate Nerd Coalition. This is a club where students of similar interests can meet to discuss anime, comic books, video games, and more. And this past Thursday, they sponsored our school's very first Pokemon tournament. We're actually doing our very first uh, Coral Glades, very first Pokemon tournament, um, in which, of course, we, we get together, we set up desks, as you can see around, and... Um, we battled to see who the number one champion is for uh, some form of a prize. This time is a $25 gift certificate to GameStop. This event had a very successful outcome with about 35 students in attendance. Funds were raised through a $5 entry fee as well as food and beverage sales at the competition. We raised the money for our club t-shirts and also an upcoming convention that's going to be happening in Orlando. Um, it's going to be pretty expensive to go so we're trying to raise a lot of money for that. The winner of the competition was Tyler Hodap, taking home the prize after a day well spent of fun and games. With WJAG, I'm Joey Schott. Mark, I think Coral Glades pulled one big magic trick on us. What are you talking about? Well, one day, my class was like 35 people, and now, abracadabra, it's 25 people. Um, Paula, that's not magic. The state just is enforcing a law that caps classes at 25. The school even hired some new teachers to help out with the extra classes. Check it out. With the 25 student limit, core class sizes are now being reduced and students are being forced to switch out. Well, um, so far I've, I've been given an extra class. My seventh period class is now an extra Spanish 2 class that we didn't have before. So some of the students will come out of the other Spanish 2 classes and go into that class. And hopefully it will be under 25. That's what Mr. Ramirez wants. And um, I'm expecting next week that I'll get, um, have some students taken out of my other classes uh, to go to a different teacher, and then um, maybe I'll get some different students at the same time. The first wave of schedule changes have taken an effect. Although students have been switched out of some of their classes, they will not be switching subjects. Students will just be transferring between teachers and periods. I got switched out of third period to go into sixth period. And, you know, it was my JRTC class. Kind of confused me a lot because, you know, they didn't tell me about it until I got there and I was late for class. Got suspended. Now I got, I got, took an IS because I was late to class. Students who have been removed from their classes have been moved into other classes under the limit of 25. New teachers have also been hired and current teachers have taken new periods to compensate for the students being taken out of the overfilled classes. Um, well, I feel very excited. Um, the opportunity to, to become a teacher at this point in the year was a big surprise for me. But I'm really excited to be here and to have that opportunity. Um, and it is, it is challenging, um, but it's definitely already starting to just feel very rewarding and very exciting. All right. An amendment passed in 2002 states that all classes must contain 25 students or less or the county will be fined. With WJAG, this is David Creasy. Well, that's all we have for this edition of the recap. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next time.
That's me, Trey Shane, and I'm on a mission to find a recycling can. One that's been used properly. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. After many weeks of searching, I grew desperate. Mind if I look around? What is this? But I always get my man in the end. Could it be? A recycling can that's been used properly? I finally found you! <laughs>